Hello and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to. And today, we're gonna check out some trial chambers. I'm very excited about this. I have not seen any of this in game. This is my first time. I think I'm just going to uh, look at this. I spawned right next to a cave. Um, I'm gonna just go down the cave and I'm gonna see what I can see. It's a dead end. Let's see if we can keep it going. Maybe not this cave. I just want to see, because it says that they're, you know, kind of common around, I think it said the medium deep part of the world. So we're just going to see if we can just wander on down and discover one. This doesn't look like a very promising cave. It's a horrible cave. Is that a cave? Could be. No. What about here? No, why, why are all the caves like this? They're not real caves. It's just like somebody took a giant spoon and stabbed it into the earth. How about this one? Aha, this one looks more like it. I haven't found anything yet. Somehow in my head, I thought it would be easier than this. Ooh, this is a big cave. Please... Give me a trial chamber. Wow. Okay, this is more like it. Is there anything in here that looks trial-like? I don't know how to get out of here anymore. Oh my. This is a whole cave underneath that lake. This is kind of cool. Okay, there's a mine shaft. So I found a deep dark before I found a trial chamber. I don't know if that's a commentary on their uh, commonness as a, as a whole. I also don't entirely know what I'm looking for. I assume the tough blocks and, and copper. I don't know how it looks in YouTube, but it, it is it is bright enough on my computer to see most things at least. Come on now, just a little bit of tough or copper, please. Uh, okay, you know what? Fine, I'm fine. I'm giving in. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. So lesson number one that we're learning here is that they're a little bit harder to find than I expected they would be. Oh, there it is. Okay, wait, I don't wanna I don't wanna look at too much. I'm trying not to see too much. I'm trying to let me just approach from Okay, let's imagine I was in this cave. This random cave I would totally find myself in under non suspect circumstances. Why did I switch it to survival? This seems like a bad idea. I'm doing it. I'm committing. You know what? I'm committing. I'm committing. Uh, set world spawn. <laughs> it's gonna be right here. Can we can we break our way through? I'm putting in my in my other earbud. I'm gonna be immersed in whatever is about to happen to me. And there's instantly a spawner. This is a bad room to emerge into. I don't see it spawning anything though. Are these the, these are the new spawners for sure. Cause look at the corners of them. Look at that. I, I was trying to zoom with Optifine, but the, I'll zoom in post. See those? That looks different. These are the ones where they will spawn a specific number of mobs to align with how many players are nearby. And they're still tweaking that number. Okay, stop. You can be done spawning things now. It's okay. Oh my god, there's a breeze! This is a lot of them! Um... What do these do? Fire charges? What do you mean? How do I... I can't get out, I don't have any blocks, I'm gonna die in here! I'm gonna die! Have mercy on me, please! Okay, so... But I set my world spawn... I set my world spawn... In the caves, what do you mean? Well, that's stupid. Okay, <laughs> hang on. The <laughs> gate <Legate> structure. <laughs> uh, no, trial chambers. The trial chambers and trial ruins is just really, I don't know. Wait, there, it was 80 blocks away from my original. What is going on? Where am I? Hello? I don't understand. 
I'm getting so upset about this. Okay, um, let's imagine we came through here instead. All right, we're gonna go game game mode. Let's let's do creative at the moment. I'm gonna do game mode creative, and I'm going to go give myself just some basic iron tools. Okay. Who did you hear that? There were so many things that spawned at once. Oh no. Oh no. Do you hear? Okay, it sound is probably pretty quiet in my video because I keep the game sounds low, but it's breeze sound sounds akin to an Enderman teleporting. Okay, so right now, these things are spawning four of a mob, it seems. And it seems like the blocks around them indicate what they're going to be, because ice for strays, right? That, ooh, ooh, it's still spawning more. Shoot me. Do it. And then these are the lamps that I think you should be able to make brighter when you wax them. That's really cool. <laughs> Why haven't they used fire charges and things like this? But those are snowballs. What does this one do? And this one does arrows. I'm taking these arrows for myself. And I have slowness now. That's kind of epic. Let's also take uh, a few fire charges. I want to know what happens if you light a breeze on fire. Quick charge as well, and fire protection. Let's trade our our little our little measly helmet. We're gonna take some more of these as well. I wonder if there is an intended... Diamonds! That's nice. I wonder if there is an intended doorway in these things. You know what I mean? Like, is there a place where they're like, yes, come through, come through this spot. Nice. Okay. I like these copper grates. These are cool. There's random dead trees. Very suspicious. I don't know what to expect. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I don't think I want to go... Ooh. What's this? I'm going to make this brighter. There's a bunch of water. Is there? Is it supposed to be flooded like this? They had like a problem with aquifers or something like that in the, in the notes. Well... Wait. What is this? Why are there beds down here? Can I get in there? Say yes. I'm gonna just bounce back up here. Let's have a peek downstairs. There's a bunch of beds and golden axe. That's kind of boring. Let's carry on. But interesting, why, why do people need beds? What is the reason? This place is very large. Oh, this is the... There it is! Should we just do it? Oh, oh, this is for setting your spawn before you go into the fight. I get it. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm a PvP god. I am not a PvP god. But today I am... Let's take on all these baddies. How dare you shoot me. Okay, so... <laughs> this is a little more rough than I expected. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my god. Oh, don't hurt me. Is it attacking things that are not me right now? Is that what's... Hello? Leave me alone, maybe. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit intense, and I wasn't expecting this. I might be about to die, but like, we'll see what happens, you know? You know what? I might just survive this. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm running. It only does a little, a little, little itty bitty amount of damage. So if I can just <laughs> run for a second and get some food. No, don't shoot me, please. Jesus. Ow. Ow. 
Okay, so like it's released some water on me here. I don't know exactly where that came from. I don't know if I can get out of this anymore. <laughs> um, oh my god. Can I do this? Is this possible? I don't know. The slowness from the strays is not helping here. The breeze moves very fast. Okay, now it's just you and me. Just you and me. Uh-huh. These are fire charges right here. Ooh, you can set it on fire. It just set itself on fire. I'm afraid. I don't know what's behind me. I know that there's like triggers and levers and stuff. Let's see what he can do now. Ooh, okay. That's actually a lot of knockback. The punches don't hurt much. It's just the way that things are like laid out in the room where something could be triggered behind you at any time. Although I've avoided those pretty good so far. But I feel like some of that is by luck. Come on, come on. Let me get close enough to you. Who? I just dodged that. Oh, there's another one. Do they continuously spawn? But it does do Oh, it does dodge. Come here. I'm going to light you on fire. <laughs> going to light you on fire. Yes. Have you heard the theories that it's going to be like the blaze where you need elements from it to light up a portal, but the portal is going to go in like the deep, dark, ancient city thing now instead of to the end? I am obsessed with that theory. Wait, these have different icons on the corners than the other. Some of them are like bronze, coppery looking, and those ones are gray. That's very interesting. Okay, I don't get the impression these things have a huge amount of health. Oh, and I just got a key. Did you see that? I don't think this has a use yet, but I just got a trial key. And there's another there. I got two of them. Interesting. There was the water bucket. Let's see if there's any other ones. Fire charges, water bucket. Any good loot? It's all right. <laughs> I hope it gets better. I really do. The loot in this game is not always the best. Okay, now I'm curious. What would happen if... Uh, I'm just going to pop into, into creative real quick. And I'm going to get a breeze spawn egg. And then... Wait, it bounced off. Did you see that? That one too? That one bounced off as well. Is it like it gets it gets caught in their wind? Okay, I was going to see if slowness would work on it, but it doesn't really look like it does. So I'm going to leave that in here, and we are going to hop on out of this section. Let's get my, my shield back up again. I'm walking around so brave as if I'm not going to need that again. There's another door. This is a different door, yes? Yes, yes. Wait, there are pots. Is there anything hidden in them? Amethyst and lapis. That's cool. Anything down here? <gasps> uh! <gasps> okay, so holding an axe and a shield in these is dangerous because you just start waxing all of the copper instead of holding up your shield. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Oh, that whooshing sound is the spawner spawning stuff. Is it like a teleportation sound because they're teleporting from somewhere else? There's a little trap door there. Don't touch me, I'm trying to go into I'm trying to go through this trap door. I wanna know where it goes. Honeycomb. And sticks. No, leave me alone. 
Did I just escape into this secret chamber? Hello? Wait, that was kind of exciting. That was kind of amazing. Scaffolding. Torches and an axe. Another axe. What do you mean there's more? What book? Efficiency one? Oh, there's a bunch of grates. Ow. I never thought that silverfish would hurt this much. Well, that's cool. Oh, 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 the way this is laid out. Very inconvenient for me and it's a dead end. Well, I guess it's time to accept my fate. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was, that's too much of a close up to start with. So my stuff is probably despawned by now. I don't really know where I am. Um, This is a little bit tougher than I expected it to be. I'm going to be honest. Whoa. Okay. That's a little more like it. Right? Oh my gosh, there's more stuff literally everywhere. There's an ender pearl too. That's cool. And arrows. So as you go along here, you can pick up a lot of stuff. Oh, there's my stuff. It survived. Feels like it's been five minutes. I guess not. Can we, uh, I'm just gonna break through. What is this down here? Oh, it just goes right into here. There's more keys. Now I have four of them. Gosh, I gotta know what these keys do. I have another one. Five. What do we think? Have we got any theories? What are the keys for? And this just emitted a little bit of treasure, a little bit of loot for beating it. This is really cool. It's a lot bigger than I expected. It's a lot more engaging than I expected. So I think I think a lot of people can relate to the fact that sometimes uh, the challenging parts of the game are not always super challenging anymore. Okay, is this the main trial room? Or is this a new one? This is looking kind of new. Let's hop out of here for a sec. Just so I can get my shield. There we go. Now that I know what to expect in these rooms, though, they are easier than they were before. And if you came down here with any amount of, of good gear, I think it would be <laughs> a breeze. Oh, there's more of them than I thought. And I have slowness. Good try. Good try. Oh, I see a key up there already. Hey, leave me alone. I'm getting this key. Give it to me. I wonder if you need, like, a certain number of these keys to- Silk Touch, that's nice, to unlock things. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to put myself intentionally in front of some of these buttons just to see if, like, some of the effects will get me. Whoa! Is that poison? Like, okay, Minecraft, yes, I want potatoes as my trophy for killing the breeze. Okay, this wasn't too terribly hard. I wonder if there's anything up in here. Because this looks like something that would lead somewhere, right? Anything behind it? Nope. I really am in love with the lamps and the grates and stuff. This looks so unique. Hmm, I haven't seen this. Milk? I You could, like, uh, dispel a, a slowness effect with that. That's nice. Is there anything up there? In that central bit? It doesn't really look like it. Now I think I would like to go game mode. Spectator. And I'm going to just soar through the underground in a straight line. I'm going to go this way. And I'm just going to see how far I have to go bef before I see another one. Not far at all. Whoa, this one has all white floors in here. Is this all snow? Is this all powdered snow? And there's little things that you have to jump onto to avoid the powdered snow? Are you kidding me? 
What do you want to bet it's going to be like a snow related monster too? Game mode. Is that just the stray? Is that the only one? I don't know. It is powdered snow. It is. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay. Game mode. Spectator. Yeah, so it strays again in here. This is a really cool room. And it's got mossy cobblestone. Let's see what the mossy cobble does. Zombies. Okay. Interesting. These are so cool. All right, I'm gonna fly again, just in a straight line. We'll see how long it takes for me to see another one of these. Just trying to get a gauge on how often they're appearing right now, and it really is very common. Look at this with the glow vines in here. This is beautiful. These are kind of cool because these feel Minecrafty. Okay, this is the first one taking more than a few seconds of just picking a direction and flying to find. And there is another one. It still didn't take that long. This one has a spore blossom inside of it. It's beautiful. I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited to see what the next snapshots have in store in terms of continuing to develop these things, the loot, the way that they work, how many mobs are being spawned, because right now it seems like there's about four of them per spawner, per person. I don't know if that increases in double per person or if it's like an exponential sort of thing. I know this wasn't a very, a very beefy video, but thank you for hanging out with me while I explore these things. I was very excited to do it. I'm very glad I got to do it with you. So if you enjoyed this, if you wanted to hang out with me a little bit more, then maybe you click the subscribe button and the like and stuff. Yeah. I do a lot of building normally. Um, I have some cool things I'm going to build soon. So, I will see. Is that a... Hang on. Is that a floating ship over there? Yes, it is. Now this is cool. Did you know that one of the bases that I built on a private server with some friends and family was a ship that was sideways stuck into the side of a cliff? That was a pretty cool one. I didn't have it for long, but it was pretty cool. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.